we will discuss about the question paper belong to 2018 december by nta net ugc first paper so the question is the prime objective of using audiolingual ads in a classroom is to keep students to keep to develop what so there are four options here one is spelling and punctuation skills listening and speaking skills reading and writing skills so here you can see the reading and writing skills uh, uh, is not possible because reading and writing skill is not developed by audiolingual ads it can only develop the listening and the speaking skill so this is the right answer the listening and speaking skill is the right answer for question number one so we will we, we can see the listening and speaking skill can be developed by the help of audiolingual ads in the classroom then our next question is which among the following is best instrument to evaluate quality or characteristics of a learner so how to rate how to uh, evaluate a student's quality and characteristics can be determined by what manners first is given what checklist then rating scale then it is giving inventory and rubrics so out of checklist checklist cannot be used to evaluate quality and characteristics of a learner then rating scale is also not used this is also not used then we can use rubrics we can use rubrics to evaluate learners quality okay so this is the right answer then we shall go for next questions that is the growth development and increased access to technology over decades have contributed to learner characteristics in terms of using technology below are given two sets please miss the generation as being popularly called based on birth year so if we see the a the uh, those who have taken bath before 1945 before 1945 they are coming under what they are coming under born they are coming under generation x they are coming under generation x or traditionalist or what that is the question it is asking so we can see here those who have taken bath before 1945 before 1945 we can consider them they are traditionalist this is the right answer they are coming they are coming under traditionalist then those who are coming um, in between 1946 to 1964 they are coming under baby boomer baby boomer then those who are coming between 1965 to 1976 they are coming under generation x 
एंड फ्रॉम 1977 1977 टू 1995 दे आर कमिंग अंडर जनरेशन वाई एंड लास्ट दोज हु हैव टेकन बर्थ बिटवीन 1996 एंड आफ्टर दे आर कमिंग अंडर जनरेशन जेड जनरेशन जेड सो आवर राइट आंसर इज दिस आवर राइट आंसर इज दिस वन now we will discuss about the question number 4 which of the following is correct statement in relation to fish so students which of the following is correct statements in relation to fish bowl style of classroom layout the right answer would be the students some students sit some student sit close together in a circle in the center of classroom while the rest of the students at the play, at, at the back of classroom and observe the group discussion so this is the right answer for this question next we can go for question number 5 which among the following is the apex institution in india working in the area of training educational planner and administrator so it is asking that which institutes is leading for what training educational planner and administrator so this is so if you consider the ncert ncert is not because ncert only dealing with the teachers teachers training teachers training so scert is also not so the right answer is n i e t a the right answer is n i e p a so n i e p a is responsible for leading the training and educational planner and administrator n i e p a <coughs> so we shall go for question number 5 question number five so this question is asking about how to identify a research problem so we can identify the research problem by <coughs> selection of the academic area first we do selection of the academic area then we go for demarcation of the study area then we go for specific topics within the area so this is the three basic steps we select a research problem so we will see what are the answers answer is a b and d a b and d so a b and d is present where a b and d so selection of the academic area demarcation of the study area specific topics within the area these three things are included in identification of a research problem okay so we'll go for next questions question number 6 so question number 6 participatory research is also described as how to describe a participatory research Particip participatory research 
is just also described as individual based group based community based government based four options are given so out of this individual based is not possible because individually it is not because it is participatory research it, it cannot be individually based so the next uh, option will go that is group based suppose the group based also cannot be the right answer so the right answer will be community based community based because the participatory research includes many people that's why it is community based is the right answer so we will go for question number 7 in question number 7 what is the question which of the following is an incorrect statement so we have got four statements we will find out which one is the incorrect one so first is x post facto research uses data that you collected before you came up with your hypothesis no this is not the right answer because ex post facto research it is correct statement next what is the incorrect we are searching what is the incorrect statement then archival research uses data collected and sometimes coded by someone else so this is also a right statement so this cannot be answer observational methods are used in both correlation and experimental research this is also right statement so it cannot be the right answer next using a scatter plot to graph your correlational data will not tell you the direction of the relationship positive or negative this is not the right statement so this is our answer okay we go for ninth question that is the advantages of secondary analysis in research are what and advantages of secondary analysis in research so first we'll see it is inexpensive it is also correct there is no need to construct a measuring instrument this is also correct data archives are a valuable source this is also correct useful opportunity is provided to produce valuable knowledge this is also correct so our right answer would be what this one and provide less time to understand data this is not it needs more time to understand the data that's why the right answer is this a b c and d a b c and d so we will go for the next question means the type of validity with its major source of problem So here we can discuss what is the validity, construct validity, the three types of validities are the given, construct validity, external validity, internal validity. So construct validity is related to what, faulty or poor measure faulty or poor faulty construct validity is linked to what this faulty or poor measure really resulting in mislabeling or misinterpreting behavior this is construct validity then 
external validity external validity is linked to what treatment and no treatment groups were unequal before the study began no external validity is linked to this sample of participants was not representative so the right answer would be what this because internal validity is also linked to second so treatment and no treatment groups were on equal before the study began so the right answer is this right answer is 